Hey, I wanted to show you how I created a workbook from the Bible class that I'm teaching using different sort of software. The main software that I use is called Libra Impress, part of the uh, Libra uh, Office Suite, which is a free and open source version of uh, you know Microsoft Word and such. And there's some differences, but I, I think it's a great piece of software, and I've really enjoyed using it. And I found it to be a, a fun experience to make this because I I like design, I like challenging myself to make different types of designs and stuff. And so this was a lot of fun. It took a while to make, but I learned a bunch that I think uh, it's worth sharing and showing you what it looks like. So let's show you uh, what it looks like here. And um, here it is. Uh, here's all, It's a 64-page document inside of Libra Impress, which is a presentation software. But because it has such great uh, features as far as moving text around and styling things, and it's got some good... Um, and organizing it, I really like it. So one of the things I wanted to make sure is I'm designing this for a book and booklet format. And um, to do that, I made it a certain size. So the size that I made it is uh, seven by eight and a half inches. And that is the dimensions of one half of a legal piece of paper. So a legal piece of paper is uh, this tall here. So it's uh, eight and a half by 14. We don't typically use that. And we use eight and a half by 11. That's like letter size paper. But this is a little bit longer. And what I like about it is, is that I can fold it and create a nice little booklet for people to use. Now, this is just a prototype that I made at one point. Um, it doesn't have all the pages in here, but I just wanted to see, all right, what does this look like? Does it feel good in the hand? Um, you know, how does it, anything I need to change? So I, I thought this was fantastic. So that's, that's what I did when I created it is I made that. And I'll show you how I printed it off here in, in just a moment. But it starts off with just an introduction on how to, um, as far as content goes, it starts off with an introduction about how to use this thing. And... Um, a bit about the inductive Bible study method, which I talk about on this channel, so you can look at those videos for that. A section for the themes of the motifs inside of Mark's gospel. Um, that's something I wanted to do in it. And then uh, each lesson begins with the first page that you see, and I'll switch back to slide sorter here, so you can see how this opens up on a page. So you've got on your left-hand side, you'll have the actual text that you're looking at. Then the right-hand side, um, I needed an extra space here, so I created a little quote from the section uh, as far as to show um, like a special quote, a special verse inside the text that I'm looking at. And I did that for each one. And then on the next set of pages, as you flip the next page, you'll see questions about the text. And then you'll have a little bit of uh, information here that I just added some commentary on some. Some of them are longer, uh, some of them are shorter, but that's that's how I laid it out. Um, and then if I have a passage that's like really long, so I had this two stories here with Jairus' daughter and the woman with the hemorrhage, um, I just, instead of having a quote, I just removed it to give people plenty of space to work with. Um, as you can see right here with this text here, um, there is plenty of space between each line and uh, there's probably not a bunch of margin, but there's enough margin to write stuff down. I wanted this to be a text that they can uh, wrestle with and mark and, and circle and write down and kind of just basically people who have a problem with writing in their Bibles like that, they can do it with this booklet. And that's what I liked about it, uh, creating it. Um, and so that's kind of the design of what I wanted to do. And I think it turned out really well. My, as far as content goes, I asked these questions and I got to work on these and make them better for the next one that I make, but it was good enough to where I could send it out to people. Um, and questions too. It's not like I want people just to always ask, answer all the questions in that the class. I want people to really to look at the text and if they need help figuring out, all right, how should I look at this text to go to the questions and help them uh, mess with it there. So, all right, now let's show you how I moved from that to actually uh, printing off this document. So how do I get it from this to something like this? And it is more complicated than I thought because in my particular program, there is not a booklet printing option for a PowerPoint document. Now that's a problem or a Libra Impress document. And so that was a problem because it would just print off each page would be this, but I want not just each page like this, I want each page to be um, to have two pages, so I switch it here, and now I have two pages per sheet, and so now see there it's eight and a half by eleven, but I actually want that to be 
Um, no, the inches on here are just ridiculous. I don't know what happened, but I got to find my legal size here, wherever it is. Letter legal. So it's obviously not that big. All right, there we go. So that's how it looks. Um, but we want it to be to where I can fold each page so they can be nested inside each other. And so that's actually a, a pretty tough math problem beyond myself to create. So I found this website uh, here that somebody else linked to, and I like it. So what it does is, is that you put in the number of pages that your document is, which is 64 pages. And you say, oh, I have two pages per side. And so there's your long number there that you'll copy. So you copy this here, you flip over to the number of slides, and then you're gonna paste that in there. So let's paste it. Now what it does is, is so this is my first page here, and it's also the last page here. So that way when it's, so that's what it looks like. That way when I fold this first uh, set of, this first piece of paper, it's gonna give me the first page and the last page. Now I don't actually have the, doc, the uh, picture of the boat on the back, but should have saved that. So that's what it looks like. And then your next page is gonna have to be the second paper and then your uh, next page is going to be the about section or the table of contents section. So that's what it looks like. So the about section and then, oh, sorry, it's going to be the resource because that is the second to last uh, paper uh, thing there. So it's it has a nice, um, it's a just a really tough math form uh, problem there to fix. So that's how I made it. And so it does it all for me. And then I can save this as a PDF and, you know, I can, uh, yes, print to file to save it as a PDF. Um, and when I do that, um, actually it's not it's changed the uh, paper size. I had some problems with that too. <laughs> so I was figuring out the right paper size. But once I got it figured out, it worked like a charm. I got to print out, I probably printed out uh, about 30 of these booklets and I used a special extended stapler to staple these together and it really really worked out i was really really happy with it so that's how you print it off and create it now if you want to look at my printed document uh as far as a pdf you want to make a pdf for yourself um i'll link it to uh i'll link it down below to my website which has the pdf right there and uh that's it and the the link that i, I mean the font that i used was this font called a uh, glacial indifference um, it's a nice geometric open sans, uh, 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 yeah, an open source sans serif font that worked. And what I liked about it the most is that it's bold is distinctly different from its uh, regular font. And that's always, to me, that's hard to find good fonts that have a nice bold um, that's different enough. Some bolds that are just like, you can barely notice the difference between the two, but this one you definitely tell. And it's only... I'm only using that font here. So this font is the same as this font, which works out really well as far as giving a nice, good contrast feel. Um, thinking, uh, just walking through as far as the takeaways I have from making this document is uh, number one, um, templating really, I needed to be better at templating. So just laying out what each lesson will look like and then making that template and then just throwing my text on there. I spent a lot of time messing around with things after I actually put the text on here. So uh, that was really annoying to mess with because let's say, because at first I had the questions in the beginning of each section, which was okay, but I wanted, you know what? I think I just wanted to give people the text first so they can just see the text and write it up and, and focus on that rather than just necessarily, oh, here's the questions I have to answer. When I did that, I had to go back and uh, add this uh, ch uh, lesson lesson title here and this to each of the uh, text sections, which was a long took a little bit each time. Um, another benefit, though, was that when I had to do that, I just laid it out with four slides here, and I just you can just drag and drop and move uh, text around. Um, I mean, move the uh, slides around easy enough to where it's it's not a problem. Whereas a Word document file to switch around pages, I don't know how to do that really fast other than just copy and paste the whole text and then have to fix it after that. And that's really tough to do. So I like this as a design tool because it allows you to overview everything like I'm showing you right here. Um, 
So what questions do you have about this? Uh, I enjoyed making this, and I think other people could make this for their, if they're teaching their own class, whether it's a, a high school class or an adult class. It's always good to have people something uh, to, to use, and I this works well in this format because uh, people can use this with their iPads or tablets and uh, mark the text up with their digital styluses uh, as well, or styli uh, as well. So what questions do you have with my process here? Do you see any improvements I could have made as far as how to design it better? Um, I was going to use Scribus, which is a or Scribus, which is a open source uh, book layout tool, but it had a steep learning curve um, that I was not about to jump into because I've been using slides, uh, document software, like for a long, long time, and I've done a lot of stuff with them. I sometimes would just even design stuff like uh, thumbnails or bulletins or whatever inside of this because it's it's a lot more intuitive than a Word document thing. So, hey, thanks for watching this video, and uh, I will talk to you guys in the next video.